I can't be married to you anymore. On Guiding Light, the love triangle of Reva, Josh, and Annie included a staged fall, a long dead fetus, a phony murder trial, and two Emmy-winning actresses. Will this plot be enough to win the year's best storyline? The answer later on in our show. Welcome back to the Soap Opera Hall of Fame. I'm Jerry Verdorn from Guiding Light. What you did was not a childish prank, it was a crime. I'm not a criminal. If you're not a two-time criminal, Dinah, what are you? What the hell are you? And I've been lucky enough to win two Emmy Awards, back-to-back -back, nonetheless. Did our next inductee, casting director Betty Ray, know that I had Emmy material within me? I have a sneaking suspicion she did, because she's an extraordinary talent. And I'm not the only person to think that. Betty was the finest. You couldn't ask for a better casting director to, as an actor, to walk into the door and have her on the other side of the desk because she was always pulling for you. And so uh, it means a lot to me because casting directors go, go really basically unrecognized in this business and they're not honored. And so I, I was really happy to see Betty get honored tonight. Betty Ray has discovered some truly incredible actors in this business. And I knew Betty from years ago. In fact, Betty gave me a bit part on Guiding Light years ago. Oh, she's a classy lady. A very classy lady who has eyes that uh, I really respect. Because she likes me, of course. She's got taste. She's an actor's uh, casting director, you know. She just, she's um, inviting, warm, works you hard. And uh, she loaned me money when I first came on the show. Because I had no money. So she's my hero. I think people opened up to her then. They saw this gracefulness, and uh, it wasn't the normal show business stuff you're used to running into when you walk into so many offices, that it was just a, a genuine person interested in what you had to say. And when casting director Betty Ray had something to say, actors listened, because in the business of soaps, she was considered a star maker. I think a good casting director has this mental file going on as to uh, what kind of performers you have and what kind of people they are, and she tries to mesh things. For 28 years, Betty Ray called the halls of Guiding Light and As the World Turns home. In fact, she is credited for discovering many of today's top soap stars. So goody. A bonus for having fun. <laughs> and a mink coat to boot. <laughs> to us. Two-time Emmy winner Kim Zimmer, who plays Reva on Guiding Light, says Betty had a maternal way about her. You do trust her so much that she is your, your, your blankie, you know? Seeing Betty Ray in, in the room is, is like a ray of sunshine because she's so positive. He's an old man, Reeve. And you are a young woman. A young, passionate woman. Robert Newman remembers being very nervous before his audition for the role of Josh Lewis, but says Betty had a special way to help him relax. She pulled out a deck of cards, and we started playing a little bit of gin rummy together. And she played cards with me for about a half an hour or so. It really kind of got me into that calm mode. And I can't imagine a casting director doing that today. But Betty actually started out wanting a career in front of the camera. She studied acting at the Neighborhood Theater in New York before settling down where her true talent seemed to lie, in the casting office. I think the reason why Betty is so successful in casting is because she's such an incredible woman to read with when you're auditioning for. Um, she gives, she's an actress. She would give to you as an actor, so she was able to draw things out of you. Proof Betty Ray's innate ability to sniff out and recognize serious talent is reflected in the many faces she cast who have gone on to star on the silver screen. There was a time when I, when I used to think that no matter if you felt something, you know, if you really felt it strongly, then there's no way it could be wrong. In 1982, she cast the then unknown actress Meg Ryan as Cindy on As the World Turns. Uh, nothing would make me happier than to be your wife. <laughs> Actors Dana Delaney and Kevin Bacon are also Betty Ray alums. I have a problem. I don't need to help with it. You know, we shouldn't have left our own rehearsal party like that. <laughs> well, and she even discovered Academy Award winner Marissa Tomei when she cast her in 1983. Betty's just wonderful. She's one of those people that, in my experience with her and in uh, speaking with other people, hearing about their experience with her, she lives up to who you want her to be. 
She's, I've never heard a disappointing thing about her. I've never heard anybody say anything negative about Betty. She's just a classy broad. It's no surprise to the hundreds of actors she has auditioned over the years that this face behind the camera is finally in the spotlight. The Soap Opera Hall of Fame has honored actors, directors, writers, producers, a show, even our sponsors, Procter & Gamble. And tonight, for the first time, we're honoring a casting director. And not just a casting director, but one of the most respected and admired talents in our industry. So would all of you please help me to welcome a mother of three, a grandmother of six, and the first casting director to become a member of the Soap Opera Hall of Fame, the beautiful Betty Ray. I don't really know what to say, which is unusual for me, but this is a very wonderful night for me. And it's been great knowing all the people who have gone through these walls and who have developed so much in their art and in their work. And I feel extremely honored to be part of this evening. I want to thank you all, and I want to say how exciting it is to realize that there is so much talent around doing, irregardless of who, what, what age, and they're still doing it. I speak for one, for what age. And I want to thank you very much for having me here. Up next, Oprah, Rosie, and Liz will meet celebrity fans who have taken a star turn appearing on their favorite soaps. Plus, Ruth Warwick, from Citizen Kane to All My Children's Most Distinguished Citizen. Persistence does help. And the woman who created and in the process breathed new life into one of television's favorite dramas.